In today's video, I'll be reporting on two of the latest updates regarding low-cost storage expansion for the M4 Mac Mini. First, a prototype of a third-party SSD has been designed, but mass production will still take some time. Second, Orico has released a new external SSD called Minimate, which matches the Mac Mini in appearance and offers speeds comparable to the built-in SSD. Here are the details. Since Apple released the M4 Mac Mini in October 2024, this product, especially the base model, has been highly sought after due to its excellent cost-performance ratio. As we all know, Apple has finally adopted a removable SSD design for the M4 Mac Mini, making it possible for users to bypass the Apple tax and expand storage capacity at a lower cost. The iFixit team has demonstrated that Apple's proprietary SSDs are not encrypted, meaning users can replace the NAND chips on the drive to expand its capacity. Currently, the process of replacing NAND chips has been thoroughly researched by hardware repair vendors. This process involves several steps and boasts a success rate close to 100%. In mainland China, upgrading to 2 terabytes of storage, including labor costs, costs about 1,100 renminbi, approximately $150. However, this solution requires professional repair services, and replacing the chips immediately voids Apple's official warranty. For most users, purchasing a third-party solid-state drive is undoubtedly a better option. First, you can replace it yourself. Second, you avoid hacking the original SSD, so it won't affect the official warranty. While low-cost, large-capacity NAND chips are available, Apple's proprietary circuit boards are not. The only way is to reverse-engineer and replicate Apple's solid-state drive PCBs. However, Apple's advanced manufacturing process makes this challenging. Under a microscope, we can see that Apple has embedded 10 layers of circuitry within a 0.65 mm thick PCB, an impressive level of engineering that requires highly specialized design and manufacturing capabilities. Recently, a Chinese circuit design enthusiast successfully designed a NAND module PCB compatible with the M4 Mac Mini, simplifying the original 10-layer circuit to four layers, greatly reducing the difficulty of mass production. The first batch of PCBs has already been successfully tested on the M4 Mac Mini. However, the developer says there's still some distance from large-scale mass production, with the main issues being stability and reliability testing. If mass production can be achieved, the estimated price may be similar to the cost of replacing NAND chips. Additionally, it's possible that in the future, Apple may detect third-party SSDs through software updates and prohibit their use. For most users, if you don't want to lose Apple's warranty, using an external SSD may be the simplest and most feasible solution at present. By assembling a 2 terabytes NVMe SSD with a 40 gigabits per second external enclosure, the price ranges between $150 and $200. A 40 gigabits per second external SSD can reach speeds of up to 3000 megabytes per second, even faster than the built-in 256 gigabyte solid state drive so speed is not an issue at all. However, the downside is that almost all 40 gigabits per second external SSDs generate significant heat. High temperatures may cause the solid-state drive to enter protection mode and could even affect its long-term reliability. Is there a solution that is both fast and doesn't overheat? Just today, Orico released a product called Minimate, which is a 40 gigabits per second external SSD specifically designed to complement the M4 Mac Mini. The 2 terabytes version is priced at $279.99. The Minimate adopts the same design language and dimensions as the Mac Mini, so it blends seamlessly when used together. Thanks to its larger size, the Minimate dissipates heat more effectively than typical external SSDs. We expect early buyers to share real-world test data soon. Conclusion In my personal opinion, for a brand new and under-warranty Mac Mini, there's no need to choose the solution of replacing NAND chips. Third-party compatible SSDs are not yet available for purchase. At this stage, the best solution is still to use an external solid-state drive that supports 40 gigabits per second. If Orico's Minimate can solve the heat dissipation problem, it should be the best solution for upgrading the storage capacity of the M4 Mac Mini at this stage. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tips and tricks. See you in the next one.